Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Let's just take a moment to relax as we come to our Heavenly Father in prayer this evening. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit and Jesus, the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. From I unto thee, O Jesus, my King, O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you have made the most high your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down with sin, nor shall sin, nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O oh God of life this night, or oh darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Tonight we're thinking about working it out for ourselves. Philippians 2 verse 12 says, You must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, recognising that God is at work in you so that you will be able to understand and accomplish his good purpose. And our trusty book, Daily Prayer by Nick Fawcett, says these words to ponder. Are you good at crossword puzzles? I used to have a whole book of them and, in my few spare moments, much enjoyed tackling them. But I discovered I have a fundamental weakness. I can't resist looking at the answers. The result was that I finished each crossword in good time, but rather defeated the object of the exercise in the process. When it comes to learning something, there is a similar danger. A child can use a calculator to work out a complicated sum, but this will do nothing to further his or her understanding of mathematics. A parent can help children with their homework, yet if they do the work for them, they are ultimately doing a disservice. To appreciate and understand something, we need to work it out for ourselves. That surely is the point of Paul's words to the Philippians. He is not saying we can earn our salvation or find a way to achieve it through our ingenuity. Rather, he wants to stress the importance of working at our relationship with God, of growing each day in our faith, of striving to become more like Christ. We depend on grace, but that does not excuse us our part. Learn about God parrot fashion, consider ourselves a Christian because we know Jesus and have heard something about the gospel, and we will discover eventually that we have learned very little. Salvation involves commitment to an ongoing relationship, and in that sense, it is something no one else can do for us. We must work it out for ourselves. So ask yourself today, have you grown casual in your discipleship? 
has fear become a matter of theory rather than personal encounter? Let's pray. Living God, all too often I leave it to you to make the running in our relationship. I'm casual and complacent in discipleship, careless in making time to meet with you and forgetful of your love. Yet I still expect you to be there when I need you, ready to answer my prayers and grant your blessing despite my slowness to serve you. <coughs> Excuse me. Forgive me, Father, for seeing faith as something given to me rather than something I also need to work at. Forgive me for seeing it as a one-off moment of conversion rather than a continuing story of commitment. Teach me to make time to know you, to listen to your voice and to seek your will. Deepen my experience of you in Christ so that I may come to know you as a living reality in my life and rejoice in all that you have done. In his name I pray. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. <coughs> the peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for being with myself and Teddy this evening. Please take care of yourselves as you seek to take care of others. And when you pray for others, don't forget to pray for yourself and continue to pray for this world. Good night and God bless you.